Okay, just an update on uh, the Raspberry Pi project to uh, put the camera, make it available from the web. I've been working uh, on and off on a web interface for it. Um, there's a previous video on showing uh, some of the stuff on time lapse and uh, motion capture. Um, at this point, I've just got the still. Uh, camera version of it, but I've got some plans to add a lot of functionality. Uh, it's an ongoing little project. So, uh, uh, there's a lot to learn. You've got uh, the Raspberry Pi hardware, uh, the web server, the uh, Python scripting, uh, the web uh, HTML markup language. So there's uh, quite a few different pieces and uh, this is kind of really my uh, my first uh, stab at uh, running a Python application through a web server so um, my design criteria were to keep the the interface as simple as possible so here you've got uh, the settings over here and you've got the uh, picture to view over there um, not much movement. Uh, the dog is pretty quiet. But uh, I'm downstairs. Uh, the, this is the upstairs uh, sunroom. So you can uh, you can adjust the camera. You can uh, let's say put the brightness at 20, and it gets pretty dark. Or you can. Uh, increase it. Usually it's about 60. I've, you get to know the camera after a while to see what the settings are. Um, so then um, the features I've got are the uh, image setting. Uh, by the way I tried to get uh, Cam Studio running on here but my uh, my high-end uh, video card I was having fits with it or something but uh, maybe uh, another issue with two monitors. But, uh, Anyway, uh, uh, the image settings are here, the time settings are here for uh, the interval between uh, pictures when you're in time delay. Uh, delay, which is the duration, uh, the, the time before the, the video or the picture, the next picture would start and the duration would be how long uh, you would run let's say time lapse or whatever until the camera shuts off and then these are motion capture thresholds uh, 10 and sensitivity which is the the number of pixels that have to change uh, what I have uh, still uh, in its uh, early stages is uh, uh, the ability to save uh, profiles to disk or onto the server uh, and uh, you can specify that you want to save uh, pictures with a date or no date. I haven't implemented that feature. So up here you've got uh, all of the pull downs for the various uh, options. Um, some of these I haven't implemented yet. Uh, I'm just still integrating them into the, uh, uh, as I debug the, the code, which I have to say uh, Python is a little indent uh, insensitive or sensitive. Uh, so you know you've gotta you gotta get your indenting right just right. It doesn't uh, doesn't like tabbing uh, uh, that type of thing. When you're developing, I've found it's easier just to go in increments and then save uh, the a good version. Okay, so in the time uh, interval conversions, I've, I've actually made the ability to have a pull down to the camera wants to see it in milliseconds, but I decided that I would put seconds, minutes, hours, and days. So you can set those settings. I haven't done any um, field uh, range checking or anything yet that hasn't been implemented. Uh, I'm hoping to get a, a Cam Studio so you might get more detail here on the. Uh, the code, uh, but uh, the code is it's pure HTML or it's pure uh, HTML and uh, 
and uh, Python. I decided that I wouldn't use uh, a development, a web a development environment. Uh, I wanted to keep it. Uh, the other criteria was that I wanted to have like one uh, set of code to do everything. Currently, this is about uh, what's it? Uh, that's 700 plus lines of code if you if you take out a lot of the spaces and stuff. So. Uh, at any rate, uh, it's interesting <laughs> debugging some of these uh, little things. Uh, nice little features like here where you can uh, do a, a horizontal flip or a vertical flip. So it works kind of nice. So then if I take them both off and rerun it, it puts it back. Uh, Really not much activity. There's my dog. He's <laughs> curled up for his afternoon nap. Uh, I did try to run... Okay, so down here you've got several settings. Uh, time, uh, time delay, which would just take a picture after so many minutes. Uh, time lapse uh, would uh, take uh, photographs on a every three or ten seconds or whatever you want to set the, uh, the uh, delay uh, the interval to and then uh, for a particular period of time that's where the hours or days may come in uh, motion detection uh, I tried the other yesterday to try to integrate motion detection I think I'm gonna have to do some major modifications to the motion captures uh, script that uh, brain flakes uh, developed but uh, and that I, I did some odds on it but uh, it's continually taking pictures so it doesn't really give you a, I, I may have to start it up in a second uh, background task and then try to pick up the intermittent photos as it comes through like when they get captured to try to make some communications I'm, I'm planning on implementing a program scripting language so that you can tell the camera to uh, wait until 8 o'clock and then turn it in on uh, motion capture uh, if it motion capture activates for more than two or three times or whatever number you set then start the video and run it for five minutes and then shut it off go back into stand, uh, capture mode and then uh, uh, shut it off in uh, at eight o'clock, you know, in the morning or something like that. So uh, I'm going to try to implement that. That's a little ways down the road. Uh, and uh, there's my little introduction. So uh, not much. Uh, I have put uh, links on here for. Uh, Raspberry Pi, if click on there, and here goes to the Raspberry Pi forum. Um, here we'll go to help. I, haven't, I don't have help right now. But uh, uh, if I just run it in still, it defaults back to still, um, uh, photo still. And uh, so that's uh, just a, a quick rundown on, uh, on what this uh, web application looks like. Uh, it's uh, it's been a fun I wouldn't say fun but uh, debugging is uh, quite uh, tricky sometimes because you could have a bug in the in the Python side of things which you can get the line number of your code that that's that error so that's not too bad uh, but the uh, uh, HTML part of it if there's a little bug in it it can be a little bit hard to to find. I'm trying to modularize. Right now the code hasn't, uh, there's a few areas where I can put loops in. Uh, one little thing uh, you might be interested in is uh, I have been able to put it, it, it will run on uh, my uh, iPod Touch or whatever and uh, so and I can take pictures with it. Oh yeah, but he's moved a bit. Not much, but... Anyway, so that's... Uh, 
it'll give you some idea of what the um, what the stage of the project is so far, and um, that's about it. Uh, I I don't think I'll make the code available just yet because uh, you know some of these web developers are going to look at it and say, "Whoa, what a piece of crap!" But um, it does work. Uh, it's been debugged. Uh, it's um, uh, commented uh, mainly for my own purposes to try to you know make it easier to find things and to uh, debug. I'm starting to put more things into functions and I'm trying to optimize uh, you know little areas like uh, the spaces I'm going to write a real function. Uh, in those a little uh, spaces in an HTML where the you need to put some spaces uh, like when you're doing the form layouts and stuff like that. But uh, anyway, I um, hope you like uh, what I've done so far. Um, I will make the code available when I uh, when I get a little bit farther along so you just have to be patient but uh, um, I'm pretty proud of it. it uh, it's, it's one of my first uh, you know Python uh, programming adventures and uh, I just want to thank you for watching. Bye-bye.